Alright, as Roman said, I've been doing this series called What Makes a Great for about 20 years. And basically I've been doing on radio, on television, on books, on CDs, and concert halls, basically anywhere I can possibly do it, they let me do it. And uh, about 20 years ago, I started doing this series with Lenny Center. And normally in these programs, I take some piece of famous classical music and take it apart for that now. But about 10 years ago, Lenny Center asked me, well, could you do something like this with Broadway music, or music from the American Songbook? And I'm sure like any of you, I grew up just loving this music and I brought my songs to the piano, but I never really thought about what made the music so great. But I was intrigued at the idea of actually taking apart that kind of music. And when I started to look at this kind of music, as if it were songs by Schubert or Browns, I was amazed by how great it was. And of course, one of the most famous songs, in fact, the song that was picked as the song of the century by the Recording Industry Association of America was Over the Rainbow. And so we thought we would just take a few moments Take a look at this song that I'm sure all of you can sing my heart. Feel free to sing along if you like. And take a look and see what makes it great. So, here is the famous opening that I'm sure you all know. And let's take a look.
then you would lower it. Alright, now what makes this sound so right? Hey, you remember we said we start in Kansas and then we go up to Oz? Well, the whole opening verse, how far are those we taking Dorothy back from Oz to Kansas like this? But he's decorated like this. I'll play the name notes loud so you can hear. We're in Kansas, we leave to Oz, then there's this. She's coming back. Stuck with the Toronto airport. The lower, she's circling. Back home. So she wants to go from Kansas to Oz at the end of the first verse. She's still done with Kansas. Now, second verse, same exact music, different lyrics, she's still stuck in Kansas. The B section. You know, one of the things the kids learn today, even from just doing that one, listen up, is that you can make art and music out of anything. Now, the truth is, the whole middle section, I actually talked to the Harvard who wrote the words, his grandson, actually came from a little whistle that Howard Harlan used to make when his dog and hands would run away. Now, I'm a bad whistle, but it's sort of like something like this. Got that? That idea became the middle section of Summer of the Rainbow like this. Now, he starts to repeat the idea again like this. If he had continued like he did the first time, it would go like this.